Gotcha. So do you have any engagements or weddings that happened in 2023? I do not. Did nobody not get married in 2023? Just everybody passed away. Oh, no, I lied. I, oh I have gosh. weddings. I'm lying to you. <laughs> we literally talked about this. We talked about this earlier today. Before. I would say the one that stands out in my mind for some strange reason is Sophie Ritchie. Is that her name? Mm-hmm. Sophia Ritchie? Mm-hmm. For some reason, that stands out in my mind. And I think on her wedding day and then the day after her wedding day, people were going bananas online regarding her dress and her venue. Oh, really? And they were just like, yeah. Because I was like, I'm on, I don't know, am I on like her Sophie Richie's like wedding TikTok? Like I could not get off of it. I'm looking at her dress right now. It was just, it's a halter type dress. I guess it looks like a castle type thing. Yeah, I think it was in somewhere in Europe, I think. Mm. They got married. I I don't need... Okay. I'm going to say something that's maybe will be controversial or speculative. I don't think anybody would have cared about her getting married if we didn't know that she had dated Scott Disick. Yeah. Is that a valid thing to say? Yeah. Scott put her on the map. Yeah. How, and how weird is it even to say that? Because we're like, why is she dating this guy that's so much older than her? I mean, it looks like her, her new husband. is For like so many years. Yeah, a long time. A long time in, in for her Ooh. age group, for sure. A few years. Yeah. So that's the one that sticks out in my mind. Do you have any other ones? <laughs> well, uh, I just remember when that was announced that she got married. Everybody's like, how does Scott feel? Because <laughs> <laughs> all of his exes are like getting married, right? It's just like, and in his show, he's always sad. They're like, I'm, you know, I made some mistakes and blah, blah, blah. Because Courtney got married. It's just like everybody's finding love. Yeah. And it's not with him. It's like, is Scott no. okay? Has anybody checked in on Scott? <laughs> True. Uh, yeah, that's all I had to say about her wedding. Um, some other interesting people that got married were Simone Biles, the U.S. Olympic gymnast. So good for her. My crush got married. He didn't consult me first. Chris Evans got married secretly over the summertime to Alba Batista, somebody I'd never heard of before. Mm -hmm. Wish them all the best, I guess. Good for them. And the most interesting for me was Miley Cyrus's parents got married this year, but not to each other because they were divorced. I was going to say, but not to each other. Yeah, like I'm pretty sure her dad married someone very young. Hmm. Isn't that always the case? Like in her 20s, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it just makes me feel hopeful to find my person. It's like, <laughs> look, I'm going to have to find somebody in their 70s or something. Like, <laughs> he's looking for a hot young thing. And it's like, for him to feel that way, he needs to be 80. Yeah. One, <laughs> one of the sister wives got married. I hadn't, Yes. I did not know. Yes. I did not even know. Like, I, I had stopped following that whole family, I think, since like COVID times. I know then that's where stuff went off the rails for them. Yeah. Yes. It's like, wow, they all just left and... It all just fell apart. So I hope she's happy. Yeah. Okay. Can we just like take a hot pause mm-hmm. on this? Of course. I stopped watching it too, but I kind of kept up with their social medias. Yeah. Oh. And she got engaged. So she she like left Cody, like good for her. Yeah. And Cody's she left. She went on her own. Truly. And then since then, another wife has left. Another one is like thinking about leaving or has left. Or so pretty much now he's down to one. Okay. The first wife uh, originally so yeah, she got left. Engaged. And then the other ones have like yes. followed. It was Janelle, Christine, Robin, and Mary. I think those are their names. Mary's the first yeah. wife. Exactly. So yeah, she got engaged. Christine got engaged last year. And now she's she's married this year and she looks so happy. And like, I'm so happy for her. Like, good for her. Yeah. Her daughter got married too to her partner. Her daughter, Gwendolyn, hmm. to her same-sex partner as well. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes, because Gwendolyn spills a tea on, like, that entire family yes. and that dynamic yes, was, on YouTube. I was watching that on YouTube the other day. I was like, oh. Mm-hmm. All the older children are just like, he was not a good dad. And he gives Robin's children way more attention. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that that's a good one. That's a good call out. Good one. Thank you. So <laughs> if we're talking about, like, old men marrying younger women uh the actor dane cook married like a girl like a girl 20 years his junior but they'd been together for years and i think they got together when she was 18 maybe just Uh, turned and they've been together for a few years and maybe she's like maybe she's 25 now gotcha ew kim kardashian's hairstylist got married this year chris appleton oh okay that's good for that person (laughs) 
And not that anybody cares because this person gets married every year. Mark Anthony, Jennifer Lopez's ex, got married this year. Again? Yeah. I'm, I'm, it's probably his like eighth wedding at this point. Oh, my God. Ooh. Wow. You know who else got married? The singer Sia got married this year. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I thought she had been married four years, but apparently not. Mm. Hulk Hogan got married this year. <laughs> the wrestler. Didn't his wife die? No, I think that's you're missing. Like a, you're mixing up with Dog the Bounty Hunter. Oh my gosh, I am. <laughs> that's so good on my head. Okay, Hulk Hogan. Hulk, good for him. Okay, I used to watch Hulk Hogan's reality show with him and his kids. I forget what it was called. They lived in Clearwater, mm-hmm. Florida. Anyway, Calvin Harris got married. Oh, Another ex of Taylor Swift. Ooh, you beat me to it. I was going to say the exact same thing. There should be a new thing <laughs> called like the Six Degrees of Taylor Swift to replace the Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon because. She, if we wanted to, we could probably connect every single person we talk about today back to Taylor Swift. Agree. I need like a chart. I need like to write mm-hmm. it all out so I can visually see it. Yeah. But we're we're not going to do that today. We're not going to do that. No. Do we want to? I have like lots of other things that I want to touch on. I want to touch on like other. Wait, can we talk about engagement? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think a, a semi-recent one was Channing Tatum and Zoe Kravitz. Yes. Are they engaged? I mean, I was going to talk about them. Yes. Oh, okay. Because I was going to say they've like made it official that they're a couple because they've like recently stepped out together. I didn't know that they were like officially saying that they're engaged. They went to Heidi Klum's Halloween party, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And she was wearing a ring. And I, I don't know. Did they confirm it? I don't know. I just know that they've people confirmed are that they're a couple because they've been keeping it under wraps for a long time. Everyone's saying online that they were engaged. Ooh. So I'm just, I'm hopping on the bandwagon and saying that they're engaged too. Interesting. He was with Jesse J for a really long time. And then he was married yeah. to, I forget her name. Jenna. Yeah. Something. Who I follow on Instagram. I love her. Me too. And I love Channing Tatum, Tatum back in his heyday. Yes. Now he's not as hey as he used to be. <laughs> should, we, should we, you know, hop to a little sadder note? The people that we lost? And I still have the people that we lost in more, 2023. I still have more couples. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's hear them. Let's go. I've been keeping them. I think I only have like two more. But you know I lie. I'll okay. come back with another one at the end of the show. Kendall Jenner and Bad Bunny. Okay. That's all the reaction I get? <laughs> yeah. Okay, good for her. Kylie Jenner and Timothy Chalamet. That is an interesting... I don't understand that one. I don't understand it either because she, again, looks like she's in her 30s. I talked about that in the Beauty Standards episode. And he looks his age. He actually looks a lot like my nephew. <laughs> So I think my nephew would really? get annoyed that I said that. I just, it's just, what are they talking about? What do they have in common? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. He just seems incredibly down to earth, even though I think he's lived like mm-hmm. a, quite an interesting, you know, um, I don't want to say privileged life, but I think he's definitely had like his ex- share of experiences and his he's French, obviously, by his name and he speaks French. And I think either he was born in France or spent time raised in France like a different life and he's a New Yorker like a different down to earth type of guy and she's Hollywood all the way and she's a mom of two and a mom of two and her baby daddy is Travis Scott so it's just like it's completely the opposite it makes me think that Travis Scott relationship was never real to begin with well they were on again off again on again off again like who knows yeah it doesn't make sense were those uh, I think th- I think those are my only couples ish. Yeah. Over oh, Kim. Well, there's questions that Kim K was dating Tom Brady at some point in her dating life this year. Oh, but that wasn't confirmed. 